Seriously, Westport is no joke right now. From Westport to West Haven and plenty of places in between and beyond, the rain didn't stop falling and the water didn't stop rising this week. I almost swallowed this car in Stratford. While in Brantford, James showed us where the road was covered and Janet spotted the car that got stuck trying to get through. We saw plenty of slick spots too, and that led to crashes all over, including West Haven and New Britain, and tying up traffic in Greenwich. We had a few crashes this week. Jeff sent us this from New London, and a few of you saw the police car that wound up in the water in Seymour. Other news this week included Will and Kate's visit to New York City, and Ashley, a teacher originally from Orange, was among those who got to meet the royal couple. A couple of twins, Morgan and Taylor, ran a road race. Julia got her second degree black belt. An artist debuted his Paris themed mural at a New Haven bakery, and a dog drove a car. But the big theme this week, the signs and the sounds of the season. Now I'm going to try to avoid being lazy and using any Christmas cliches to say it's beginning to look a lot. All right. To describe how you've decked the... All right, hold on a second. But some photos have us dreaming of a... Forget it. It can't be done. There's just too much Christmas cheer. So many sightings of jolly old St. Nick. I don't want to be a Grinch. I don't want to wind up on the naughty list. Tis the season to dress up your dog like Santa and your baby like an elf. Tis the season to string up the lights, lots and lots of lights. And remember, it's better to give than to receive. Tis the season for taking festive holiday photos and singing Christmas carols. So if that means using a few Christmas cliches, so be it. I don't want to be the guy to say bah humbug. Photos, videos, story suggestions, send them to us. Upload them at WTNH.com. Email reported at WTNH.com. Use the News 8 app on your uh, smartphone. All right.